Welcome to the year four production of Change for Climate Change. Year four Civitas Academy would like to introduce our topic on climate change. Climate change is one of the biggest crises we face, but we still have time to make a difference. Seventy-two percent of waste comes to our landfills. Those are made out of from decomposing plants and animals. Every single one second, 1,600 plastic bags are wasted. Only 9% of our waste gets recycled. If we do not change for climate change in the next 17 years, we will um, harm damage to the planet so much that it will be irreversible. Did you know, around the whole world, every single second, there are 160,000 plastic bags used. If our world is almost at all degrees, and if it gets to two degrees, our icebergs will melt and polar bears will stop. We'll have no home. It keeps on getting hotter, all the icebergs will melt, and then half of our world will be flooded, and half of the world's population will die. If we don't stop global warming, the earth will be on two degrees and the icebergs will melt, melt which will cause tsunamis and floods. We in year four were shocked and horrified by these facts. We wanted to start to make a difference. So we decided to read and investigate activists and what inspired them. I was inspired by Kanti Kohli's man, Ahmad, who is a Bangladeshi economist and development thinker and activist. He and is comes pioneer was Greta Thunberg. She was born in January 3 of 2003 in Stockholm. She was about eight years old when she first heard about climate change. Greta found it too unreal that no one was doing anything about it. Who is a Swedish environmental activist who is internationally known for challenging world leaders. In year four, we wanted to create something to show everyone in the school why we need to change. With melting ice caps and penguins are losing their homes, so we decided to wear Pengiko as our year four mascot. Who doesn't like penguins? Nian, what is Maria doing? So Maria is making this penguin, which we've recycled all of our newspapers, which we have used and we brought them into school to make this paper mache penguin and this represents like what we're doing to our ice caps and what might happen to the planet if we like keep on hurting. What are we doing to our ice caps? To our ice caps we're making them melt because what we're doing is we're polluting the planet and that like means that we're gonna get the atmosphere hotter mm -hmm. because we're breaking the atmospheres like ring around the earth to stop it from letting too much heat into the world and because we've broken it and there's a huge hole in it it means that the sun can get in it and then it can come back out again but the bad thing is it's coming in and then it's like getting our planet really hot so all of the ice caps and stuff are melting. Excellent, well done. Smooth it out. Yeah, smooth it out. Okay. I'm done. Thank you so much. I know I heard it all. Watching our video on climate change. The facts and figures. Alan, who is this? This is Pingy. Pingy? The penguin. Pingy the penguin. And what does he represent, Trisha? He represents black bees. And now it's painted in red. So that's what he looks like. Why have we made a sculpture of a penguin? What was the point of it? Okay, that's cool. So, Alan, if uh, Pingu's, uh, Pinky's sorry, 
Home melt? Where would they live? Uh, they would be there. They can't live underwater. Uh -huh. And the only place they live is on icebergs. Yeah. Why is making the sculpture so important? Because it was like, uh, because What happens in Aya if the penguins lose their habitat? Then they will have no place to live and soon if, if the ice caps are melting then they'll start to get hot and then there will be more water in the sea and then the sea will start flooding onto the surface of the earth and then sometimes it may start like, to drown or the building might start to fall. That's a really good point. So if the ice melts, what happens to the sea level, Luca? Well, if the ice melts, there would be more water because ice is made out of water. Ice is cold water, basically. It's frozen water. And if we have too much water, then all the land will fill, will fill up in water, with water, and some countries might even get flooded, and we might not have a certain countries anymore. Yeah. We wanted to see if Civitas could be more green. We decided to plan questions for our head of school, Mrs. Decker. So, Trisha, what are we doing today? Oh, what are we going to ask her? We are going to ask her to upcycle the plastic. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent. Great work. Can, could you just repeat, sorry, don't get Mrs. Ducker into like deaf in her left ear, she needs to be much louder for me. Can the be less meat and can the cheese be made out of oat milk? So that is definitely a suggestion we could put towards our catering company. We don't actually produce any of our food currently on site. We work through a company, so I'm sure if we put some persuasive writing letters together, that could be a consideration. Can we try collecting litter and create a piece of art? I think that would be fantastic. And I know that actually Miss Edwards has really been uh, a bit of a trailblazer for us to do that. In fact, one of the things I have written down as a thought for us is about how much more we can do for using recyclables for our art displays throughout the school. And can that be a feature for us as part of Civitas at two levels? One, Civitas, I don't know if many of you remember this, we have talked about this in the past, is the Latin word for community. So can we, Matas, do more for perhaps litter picking in our community to improve the environment for our community? But then also, can we take some of the recyclables from our community and create some superb art pieces using those? And can that be something that we are known for as a community school at Civitas? How we take care of the environment, but also use this to show our artistic talent. I think that would be amazing. Morning, Siobhan. Sorry, I can't hear that. Why don't you recommend your response to tell us to like things better? Yes, I, I do do try and encourage it, just in general conversation. I don't like to be a, you know, I'm going to charge you five pounds every time you go and switch the lights off into the uh, contribution box. Um, I think that generally, uh, most of the time it, do, it does happen, and as I said to you, that it's a, it's, um, it, they've got sensors of them in, in terms of movement, so generally the system itself supports it, but it's just little reminders um, in terms of, you know, sometimes when we're not in rooms, but also that's where we can help each other, can't we? Yeah, so if we don't need things to be on unnecessarily, we can be saving on electricity, saving on costs. But with some of the thoughts and ideas you've been putting forward, thinking about how can we monitor, is there a display system we can show or share in the way we share house points? And you're aware of what the house points are, and that goes out in bulletins. I mean, from September, heads up, you know this information a bit earlier than everyone else, from September, as well as the um, bulletin that goes out from um, staff, there's going to be a pupil leadership bulletin that goes out once a month. 
So you, as the pupil leadership, are going to have your voice going out to the community and to parents. So perhaps those are the parts that you will be sharing and saying, OK, this is what we've been monitoring. So there'll be voices from house captains, eco teams, you know, all the different groups that are leading at the moment. So it might be this month is going to be a, a focus from the eco team. So it might be September. This is what we found out. This is what we've noticed. December, hopefully, you'll be sharing progress, you know, rather than saying, hello, this is what we shared in terms of the energy with you. It's not been great. Autumn term. And then you can think about things why it might not be. So, for example, electricity might be higher in the autumn term. Why do you think that might be? Oh, I'm just definitely all excited about that. How can you help me help the school help the staff do that? What can we do about that? What can we do? What's your thinking? Um, we can use more. We can put up solar panels and use more electricity. Right. How does that help us about using less paper, do you think? Um, How would you encourage... So, for example, at the moment, you're writing your books, right? Impacts our trees, and that's fine. Because every time we do that, we could potentially think about, in our community, is there somewhere where we could give back? So we always talk about, you know how important it is, we talk about, at a personal level for me, but for all of you, that we all learn from each other, but we're a community school, so it's also important we give back. So in schools that I work with, as we have grown as a trust, we could give back by maybe planting more trees somewhere in our community. It might be we find an area where there aren't many trees and they need to be for the environment. If we feel we are needing the paper that we need, can we contribute something back in an area? Could we find a space that um, you know, could we find out in our local community that actually there's an area that hasn't enough trees in its area, they've had to be cut down for certain things and we need to replant, but we could raise funds, we could contribute back, and it might be we can raise funds because we're saving money on less energy use because we're finding other ways of saving energy. Can you see the connectedness? Can you see the thinking? Okay, so I think they're definite ways, and I would like for us to head towards, you know we said about the marker, thinking about how much further can we go towards being eco-friendly, eco if we become paperless and think of different ways, that could be a marker that we head towards. And some schools have on their, um, so you know like we're a good school, we have a good school logo on our um, papers that go out, or letters that I send. Could we have something that is on our, that you know, shows that we're paperless, that we're sustainable, that we're recyclable? What what other like uh, marks that we want to head towards? Something to think about. In the for we, <coughs> with all our research, we are going to make things just like Greta Thunberg. This is your world and your home. We need to make the changes now. Even though we have less time, we can make a difference if we work together. If you're going to make a choice, make the right one. Are you careless? My name, hello, my name is Isabelle. I am nine years old. I like to go to the park. I don't like fire in the planet, save the planet, so don't the plastic because the animals stink is food. I say that it's scary, but that's not true because it's not my fault. Our earth is going to end soon and we're still doing anything about it. People want it to be gone, but it's not going anywhere. You want it to be gone, but you're not helping us. If you want it to be gone, then help me. Do you think we are making the right decision for us kids to develop a future? Down. Don't let me down, we are destroying the planet. My name is Tony Ann and I am nine years old. I come from England and what we're doing isn't what God wanted us to do. Neither do I. Do you want a grey planet? Because I don't. Damn with all the people not listening to me. I don't care. I want you to I don't want you to listen. I need you to listen. So don't act normal. Act as if your house is on fire. I'm here to warn you about our future. I'm in in around twelve years something terrible might happen. And the only thing we know is that all of it is not the children's fault. People that go along about saving the planet have asked me. Why don't we stop? But the real answer 
because the people are using fossil fuels and once it's gone, it's gone. Don't let me down. Our Earth needs us and we need Earth. You don't want the planet to get to, do de to two degrees, do you? You are acting like spoiled, irresponsible children. Some people aren't as lucky or educated as us, so, stop in so step into our shoes for the day and you'll notice it's not as fine as you think. Don't let me down. You will not like the changes, so stop. Millions of people are set on the streets holding signs just to tell us to put a stop to this. The future of the planet is in our hands. My name is Ruben Mohammed and I'm nine years old and I live in England. Greta Thunberg was very young when she first heard about devastating climate change. She was eight years old when she started investigating about global warming. She was 13 when she started doing big speeches in front of adults. Once the, resource, once the resources are gone, they will not come back. But they will only come back if we burn trees, which is not good for the environment. And we are wasting trees, which means we are not being eco-friendly. Uh, fossil fuels are very good, but people are burning them. Also, fossil fuels are linked with greenhouse gases. Fossil fuels use coal, gas and oil. Also, everyone on this planet needs to try their best to be eco-friendly, save our planet. Our planet is getting hotter because of, our planet is getting hotter because people are using a lot of paper. So let's try and make our planet greener and not redder. Also, if we don't, if we, if we don't make our world better, the kids will not have a better, a better future. Right. So we are, are all here today with cars, planes, and trucks. But the carbon dioxide is making trees on fire. We we are we have a lot of stuff made of wood. And if the fire follows us here, our houses are on fire. You are not stopping people from burning fossil fuels, but they are not understanding. Understanding that after we burn all the fossil fuels, our cars are on fire and our houses are on fire. You adults don't understand that you are lucky that, that you know about climate change and you're not stopping it. It's Save the world. Earth is getting hotter because humans are cutting plants, burning fossil fuels, not using renewable energy and using more hot water. Now let's reverse these things before it is too late to reverse the clock. Why are we burning fossil fuels? Why not use renewable energy source? Stop petrol cars and use renewable energy cars. Also, why not put solar panels on roofs to use energy from sun? Let's not cut trees. Let's not spoil our home. Let's help Earth get more greener. Let's kill the devastating climate change. Climate change is the highest, hardest crisis humans have ever faced. In the summer, it was hot, but now one degree came and made it hotter. That way, trees are heating up and we have to save them. If we don't reverse this, people may die, you may die. If you want people to live like you, you have to decrease pollution and save climate and save trees. My name is Steve Kerr. I'm nine years old and everyone cares about their jobs but they've forgotten our home. If we use a lot of fossil fuel, our climate will change. If people continue to throw plastic in water seas, sea life will be gone. Plastic does not decompose till 100 years uh, or over, meaning a century. Don't do anything like littering using plastic bottles. Do the good thing for all of us, not just not just for yourself. Finally, you hear me? Is my microphone on? Thank you everyone. Bye. We know that most politicians don't want to talk to us good. We don't want to talk to them either. We want them to talk to the scientists instead. Listen to them because we are just repeating what they are saying and have been been saying for decades. Hello, can you hear me? Is the microphone on? Listen to this landfill information. Only 9% nine per, nine of our waste is getting recycled. We need to change science. Change. Scientists, scientists say by the 2030 times we be 
can't change anymore. Do you want our house to be on flames? Do you want our home to explode? Look in the past how beautiful it was. Look now, what different difference do you see? Think how you act fast or then boom. Try to stop using cars. Use a bicycle. All of this will be because of you. How dare you destroy our world? Do you really want to end this generation now? Are you waiting for the end of Earth? Do you really want to destroy our planet? Do you really care? Are you careless? In year four, we decided we had we had had enough. So we created protests and activity art pieces and science to show the world world that children want to change. school we can stop wasting our food by eating it all in the hall and recycle any plastic bag and bottles that we use in the lunch hall. So I think the school can use um, 20 or 30 solar panels and put it on the roof and get energy from the sun instead of, you, instead of using um, electricity and paying more bills. Did you know that using wind turbine can save electricity? Instead of using plastic bottles, we can use metal bottles that we can use um, again and again. Thank you so much for watching our video on climate change, the facts and figures of, and all of our project. We hope that you take this video, take this video and do something for the environment. Change change for the greater good. Thanks for watching!